characteristics of sport have a positive attitude give your best effort shake hands with the other team before and after the game consistency impact and discipline name two periods of civilization in which sport has played a major role first one is medieval sports and this is after the fall of rome came the dark ages next industrial revolution and this is at the start of the 19th century sport became more organized and the development of modern sports started and to add we have the 20th century all right there are three major types of muscles found in the human body and they are the skeletal smooth and cardiac muscle and some examples are for the skeletal muscle we have the throat, anus, and the urethra, smooth muscle, stomach, and intestines, and for the cardiac muscle, the heart. All right, define the term muscle tone. This is the maintenance of partial contraction of a muscle. Important for generating reflexes, maintaining posture and balance and controlling proper function of organ systems. Now let us look at aerobic and anaerobic energy. So what is anaerobic energy? Anaerobic energy means without air and refers to the body producing energy without oxygen. Anaerobic exercise is an activity that breaks down glucose for energy without using oxygen right now what is aerobic energy aerobic energy system refers to the combustion of carbohydrates and fats in the presence of oxygen so while your body's anaerobic system doesn't require oxygen to provide you with short bursts of energy the aerobic system uses oxygen to enable you to exercise at a level of intensity for a sustained period of time now define the term muscle atrophy. Muscle atrophy is the wasting or thinning of muscle mass. It can be caused by disuse of your muscles. So what will happen if someone's leg muscles are atrophied? Well, his or her muscle will decrease in size. So it basically shrink. All right. Now, why is it important to warm up before a sporting event? Warming up increases your heart rate and therefore your blood flow. This enables more oxygen to reach your muscles. Now, how long after exercising an athlete should wait before eating a meal? And the athlete should wait at least 30 minutes after exercise. All right, now we're going to look at anorexia and bulimia. Explain the difference between anorexia and bulimia. Anorexia is an eating disorder characterized by an abnormally low body weight and intense fear of gaining weight and a distorted perception of weight. Bulimia is an eating disorder characterized by regular, often secretive bouts of overeating followed by self-induced vomiting or binging all right three types of media used to bring sport to a wider audience so the media can reach a large audience and promote sports events through various platforms such as television radio print and online media